briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. This case, Jones v. Clinton, was decided in the United States District Court for the Eastern District of Arkansas in 1999. The primary consideration of the case was whether all parties in a civil lawsuit, including the seated president, are required to obey the court's directives with significant penalties for non-compliance. The initial lawsuit was filed by Paula Jones, alleging sexual harassment against President Clinton and a former Arkansas state police officer. Despite President Clinton's initial attempt to dismiss the case on grounds of immunity, the Supreme Court denied this motion allowing the case to continue whilst he was still seated in office. The president was subsequently found guilty of contempt for refusing to comply with the court's discovery orders, instructions requiring the sharing of significant information related to the case. These events led to an out-of-court settlement, with $850,000 being paid to Paula Jones. This concluded the lawsuit but marked the beginning of serious legal ramifications for President Clinton. The court stated that the president intentionally made false statements and did not adhere to discovery orders. Consequently, sanctions were imposed, requiring him to pay the plaintiff's attorney's fees. These sanctions posed a serious challenge to the president, stipulating that he was given only 30 days to appeal before enforcement. They further suggested that his non-compliance could be investigated as an act of contempt. Furthermore, the conduct of President Clinton throughout this case was referred to the Arkansas Supreme Court's Committee on Professional Conduct for review, implying potential disciplinary action. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind, leave the stress of class.